We're joined with Margate captain Ben Swift ahead of the 2021-22 season. Ben, first of all, thanks for your time. Um, league opener, just a few days away now. How excited are you and the players for that? Yeah, very excited actually. It's been so long. I think the October, I think, last year. Last time we played a competitive game. Um, it's been a long pre-season. That's for sure, obviously with the pre-games we had before the actual pre-season, that Jay got a couple of games in, but yeah, everyone's looking forward to it now, but so the rubbish stuff is done now, and then we can get on with the good stuff. And pre-season concluded on Saturday with a win over Hive Town. Um, how has pre-season gone for yourself in particular? Uh, personally, uh, slow start really, I think that's just where we haven't played a lot of football, um, but as the games went on, I gradually feel I'm getting better. And a lot fitter, but I feel like I'm ready. And so are the lads for the book. We're definitely ready now for next next Saturday. And of course, the league opener on Saturday away at Wingate and Finchley. It'll be a tough fixture, but yourself and the boys are excited and and hopeful of getting that first win under the belt. Yeah, of course. But every game is going to be tough in this league. There's no there's no there's no easy game. You know what I mean? But I think I'd rather go to Wingate now at the start of the year than on the cold night on Tuesday. You know I mean, the pitch will be nice as well. Hopefully, so be a good game. As a team, have you discussed the aims and ambitions of the season ahead? Of course, yeah, everyone wants to succeed in this league. Well, I've been here long enough now. We all want to go up, let's be honest. I think we've got a good chance, we've got a good team, very good team, I think, this year. Um, playoffs minimum, personally, I think that should be the target, regardless. If, 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 you're, not, if you're not having that target anywhere, then there's no point playing football, really, if you look at it that way. But I think, yeah, playoffs are minimum, really, this year. And like you say, you've been here a few seasons now, the captain's armband again this season. How proud does that make you? Yeah, of course. It's obviously, as a, as a boy, I was one of the captain clubs. I don't think I'd get it this early in my career, personally. But, um, you know, I've known Joe a long time now, when I was at uh, Maystone as a younger player. You know, he has a trust in me, and uh, you know, I'm grateful for it. And, yeah, just take it as it comes, really. And, of course, it's the 125th year anniversary for the club this season, so a big season ahead. Yeah. Lots of celebrations on and off the pitch, hopefully. Um, does that add a bit of extra could pressure year, for you? Could year, could it? No, there's no pressure. Well, to tell you what, there's always pressure in football, regardless of what you do. But, um, I, you know, I, I fire off the pressure. It is what it is. But I think the 125 year, maybe it's written in the stars. Maybe go up this year, you never know. Hopefully it'll be the case. Big prediction there. Yeah, and in terms of coronavirus... Um, it hit everyone hard. Um, for you as a as a player, non-league player, we know what some of the bigger players, the bigger stars went through in terms of you know reduced matches and no fans at the grounds. But for you guys at this level, football stopped. How was that for you? Uh, it's tough financially because obviously a lot of players, some players just do the football side, so it's a, it's a big income that isn't isn't happening. Luckily, the club did furlough us till January time, which was. Which was didn't have to do that, which is very grateful for them. But um, mentally as well, I think football's a bit of, a bit of freedom really sometimes. You need to get out and play a bit of football. But yeah, it, it, it did it hard. Obviously, you get used to it, obviously, after a while, because it was so long now. But um, like I said, I think everyone's just looking forward to getting back to it. And hopefully, well, hopefully it doesn't come back, but you never know. And obviously, something that rejuvenated the spirit of the nation was the England team at the Euros this summer. I'm sure you watched it yourself. Yeah. Um, is there a hope that that excitement about that team will filter down into non-league, having missed out so much that some of the younger fans will now come along to Margate, where it is a bit cheaper than Premier League, example? For example? Yeah, I think fans haven't watched the game. God knows, I only just started going back now. We've been over a year now, since a year and a half. So I think anyone, any fans, only local fans, are going to want to watch any football anywhere they can get they can get to, really, especially with all this vaccinated passport. So they can't go to them games and. It's going to work its way down in the leagues and hopefully get a few more fans at games. And in terms of fans watching this uh, interview this afternoon, what would your message be to them that maybe haven't been along to Margate for a while or perhaps have never been to a Margate game? Expect a, I don't know what you're going to expect sometimes, are you? But no, you're uh, allowed to appreciate the fans. Without the fans, the football's nothing really. Um, we just like, appreciate their support and hopefully we do them proud and get the wins and then they keep coming through the gates and then have a smile on the face when they leave. And just finally, Ben, what would it mean to you to be successful this year in such a big year for this football club? Oh, massive. It's very hard to win leagues. Well, not many players do win leagues, but I think, me personally, it'd be a, be a very good achievement. And I think as a club, I think the club need it as well. I think obviously it's been a while since they've been in the Conference South, or whatever you want to call it now. But um, yeah, it'd be massive, it'd be massive. And hopefully it does work out. But like I said, Jay's built a good squad. We're growing. We're, we're, we are on we are new still. We're only two, two, two or three players from last year. But just be patient, and it will come, and we'll hopefully see 
Say second of the year, but we'll see. That's brilliant, Ben. Thanks for your time and best of luck for the upcoming season. Cheers, Ryan. Cheers. Cheers, thank you.